In this video, we're going to learn how to transform log entries using ClickHouse materialized views. So I've got an S3 bucket called logs-mv.clickhouse.com and you can see in here, we've got a bunch of log files. We've kind of got 11 to 12 log files with 100,000 lines per file or more or less. Let's come over to the terminal and have a look at the content of one of those files. So you can kind of see there's a log entry on each line. It's got an IP address, a date. We've got the request in there. Some of them looking quite complicated. We've then got a status code, the size of the response, and then also the uh, browser details as well. We're now gonna come over to another tab and we're gonna launch a ClickHouse server. Uh, and then we'll come over to our second tab and we'll launch the ClickHouse client that's gonna to connect to that ClickHouse server. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a table called logs Q, and it's just gonna have one field. So it's gonna be a line and it's gonna be a string. And, the and then we're gonna have an, we're gonna specify the engine. So that's gonna be an S3 Q. So remember that means that we are reading files from, from an S3 bucket. So we'll specify the name of the S3 bucket and we'll give it the files to look for. So start.log. This bucket is, is public. So we're gonna say we don't wanna use any credentials and then we're gonna treat each line that it processes using the format line as string. So it's not gonna to attempt to process it at all. It's just gonna load it in as it is. And then we'll add some settings as well to tell it how we want them to, how, how we want it to process those files. And keep in mind that if we add new files in, it's gonna pick those up as well. Okay, so we've got our S3 Q table. Now we're gonna create a logs table. So this is gonna be the actual table where the data is stored. It's gonna break up that line. So we can have an IP, a date, a method, a URL, a status code in a browser. And this is gonna be a merge tree table. And then we'll specify the sorting keys. We'll sort it by the URL and the date on which it was browsed. And then we're gonna create a materialized view that takes those rows coming from the S3 files and writes them into that logs table. So we're gonna create a CTE that reads from the logs queue. We're then gonna pull out a bunch of groups using a regular expression. So this is, this is all done a big assist by ChatGPT here. And that will be available as the field name parts. We're then gonna read from that CTE. We'll pull out the IP. We're gonna get and then pass the date. We'll get the method, the URL, the status code and the browser. And then we're just going to do a, a filtering to make sure that we've actually got valid HTTP requests in there. And then once we've done that, we can then check whether any rows have been ingested. So we can run a query from logs select count and it comes back with 1.19 million records. If we run it again, it's now up to 1.39 million records. And we can have a look at one of the records in there. So if we say from logs select, select one of the one of the files uh, and we can see there it's now split up so we've got all the individual components are separated out into their own fields we can also write a, a query to have a look at the most popular browser and we'll just clip the the length of the browser at 70 characters so it doesn't take up too much space and then we'll group the result by the browser and then we'll order it by the count descending and so you can see here these are the these were the most popular browser uh, query straight or strings that were being that were being used in our log files. Let's have a look what happens if we add some more files in. So we're gonna go over to our S3 UI and we're gonna click the upload button and then we'll just set that any new files we add are gonna be publicly accessible. And if we come over to the right hand side, you can see we've got a bunch more log files. So let's just select a few of those and we'll drag them across. And those will then, and then we'll go down and we'll click on our upload button. And we'll give it a few seconds. So you can see it sort of starts uploading them one by one. And we can see that the succeeded ticks off one, uh, one at a time. And then if we scroll down on the next screen, we can see there our new log files are available. And if we come back over, to our terminal again and run that previous query to show the most popular browser. You can see we've now got much bigger counts uh, on each of those rows. Um, so if you liked this video, you might also like this other one up here where we did an introduction to materialized views.